make him learn. Can you ask him where my shipment is? Where are the libras? So let me get this straight. He ran, left my dope, my money, and Jose with the cops. Where did the motherfucker shoot back? What do you think I gave guns for? There's no problems, he wants another chance, that's all he wants. I only give people one chance, man. Get rid of him. I don't even know why he keeps sending all these idiots to do these jobs, man. He should be using us instead. That's what I was thinking about. Just look at how many times this happens. Last month, it was Pedro, then Jose. Now we got Javier in the trunk. The killing's starting to bore me. What? What do you mean? Yeah, killing people is starting to bore me, man. It just doesn't excite me anymore. You know what I mean? Come on, man. Let's do this. This is bullshit. You know, I got this idea, man. I don't know if you're up to it. Oh yeah? What is it? Well, you know Logan loses one shipment out of every four runs. Damn, that's a lot of money to be losing. Hell oh, yeah, it is, man. California border is way too hot. These pigs want too much money to turn their heads. Especially the way the president beats up the border patrol. Man, Logan's gonna probably start losing half of his shipments. So what? You want us to start doing these shipments for uh, Logan? Well, I've been talking to my cousin from Texas, eh? And he tells me there's a hole in the fence. You know, stuff comes straight from Mitchell Guns all the way to South Texas. From the makers to the buyers, no middleman. So what are the prices down there? About 11000 without paying the pigs off. But if we, you know, buy 10 or 20 pounds, you probably get them for about 10 grand each. It's about half the California prices. Yeah. I like that. It's pure black tar.
Are you out of your fucking mind? A hundred and ninety thousand? That's forty thousand more than we agreed upon. I don't give a fuck about the border. I thought you had these cops paid off. This is ridiculous. It's easier to get a 200 pound wetback across the border than just 10 pounds of heroin. Okay, Francisco, I, I need to get back to you. I need to think about this one. Yeah. Fuck. Did you take care of me? Yeah. We also did some thinking. Is that so? What if I could get you 10 pounds for 140? I say you're full of shit. Seriously, man. Me and Navajas, we can get you 10 pounds of pure heroin for 140 grand. Okay, Zeus. I don't have time for this bullshit. This is the second shipment I lost this month. Second shipment? We got this hookup in Texas. Texas? You can't get drugs across the Texas border. All drugs come to California. You both know that. Texas is a brick wall. Not the spot that we know of. Man, it's an open door down there. You don't even know. An open door, huh? I've been doing this shit for 10 years. I've never heard of anybody bringing shit across the Texas border. At least not successfully. So what, you both know more than me now? Look, we're not saying that we know more than you. We're just simply saying that we can get you 10 pounds in a matter of days for 140. So what you got to lose, eh? What Jesus is telling you is for real. Have we ever let you down? Haven't we always come through for you? Look, Logan, if you trust all these border brothers around you that you don't even know, how are you not going to trust us? I trust them from what they do. They transport drugs, that's all they do. You two are killers, that's all you do. Then you know we can handle ourselves then. That's not what I'm worried about. What I'm worried about is the jobs you do for me have nothing to do with trafficking. Nothing. Huh? Yeah, from what I heard, it'll save you 50 grand. You guys understand you have more than just your word on the line, right? We know. Good. You have three days. Ten grand. That sounds too good, Tony. You sure these people are for real? Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, because I just don't want to leave bodies all over Texas, you know. Yeah, we're supposed to get there in the afternoon about, about five. Yeah, yeah. I'll call you up when I'm settled.
Later. Everything set? Son, be worried. You don't think it sounds right? I don't know. My cousin, he seems to think it sounds right. You know, gotta trust his judgment. So we're gonna make 20 G's a piece? Nah, uh, 17. You know, we gotta break them off a little bit, you know, for helping set up the whole thing. That's pretty good for a couple days work, huh? Hell yeah. We didn't even gotta kill anybody. Hey, Jesus, uh, you want to dial up some room service? I had a real bad headache, man. I'm starving. They don't got room service here. I'm sure they got some vending machines, though. Why don't you go uh, get some chips or something? I'm going to call Tony right now. All right. Hey, I'm going to go downstairs. I'm going to grab me something from the vending machine. Yeah, man, because the quicker we can do this, the better I feel, because I don't like walking around with all this money. Yeah, I don't blame you. Uh, do you want something from there? No, nah, no, nah, I'm cool. All right, I'll be right back. Hello? Is Tony there? What's up, man? Yeah, we just got here. Yeah, let's do this quick, man. I'm starving. Yeah, let me get the directions. Wait, hold on. That's the stop sign. All right. All right. So what? Then what? Just wait till it gets there. Yeah, two thirty. Yeah, that's perfect. Yeah, so if we leave tomorrow morning, we should be there in plenty of time, right? And you're going to meet us there, right? Or what? Oh, okay. Now just call your cell phone when we're done. And you'll be pulling right into town. Yeah. All right, Tom. Later. What's going on? What's the plan? We're going to drive to a small town called El Sencillo. So like four hours away. How many? Four hours. No, how many pools are going to be expecting there? It's supposed to be only one. It's supposed to go to a ranch house. The people that live there, they own like 200 acres. They know we're coming. It's all good. Should be real quick, you know, a few minutes. Hmm, that's good. Well, are we ready to go get something to eat? I'm fucking starving, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Mm, I need my gun. Can't do without the gun.
otra día, otra muerte, no le importa el delincuente, un morrío, chavalío, corriendo con sus amigos, no hace caso, dos balazos lo pegaron en el puro, te lo juro, es la vida que yo miro cada día, en los calles, en los valles, te digo, es peligroso, tanto tiempo ha pasado, con muerte hasta mi lado, me persiga cada día, viviendo, es maravilla, un mi alma lo va a quitar Es la vida, vida, vida Es la vida, vida, vida Otra día, otra cosa Tu vieja su resbalosa Secuestaba con cualquiera Por un poco de la feña Un putita muy cochina Y nunca en la cocina Su tiempo ha pasado Con un vato a cada lado Apisteando y bailando Y usted ha trabajando que hiciera cuando fuiste cada día tu vida yo sé es triste porque nunca te fuiste un bala en tu cara ahí ahí para es la vida 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 es la vida 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 es la vida que yo vivo te digo no es el libro tantas cosas están pasando en todo esto yo ando como mota vendo coca que vives a cada día un minuto son muy chistes y otros son muy tristes porque no es ¿Qué chingados quieren? Estamos esperando un amigo ¿Un amigo? ¿Cómo se llaman? Yo soy Jesús Este es mi compa Navajas Jesús y Navajas Esperen ahí Back to the car. You know what, eh? Now I'm starting to think this ain't right. Why would you have us waiting here in the car? Well, stop thinking, man. You're gonna make me nervous. Anyways, if something goes down, we'll just shoot our way out of it. Hey, here he is. You ready? Yeah. ¿Quién es el primer Tony? Soy yo. ¿Cómo te llamas? Jesús. Y este es Navajas. ¿Sí? ¿Están listos para hacer el negocio? Sí. Pero queríamos ver a la chiva. No hay problema conmigo si lo quieren ver. Pero no hagan nada estúpido. ¿Entienden? Mira, amigo. Aquí somos profesionales. Solamente queremos mirar lo que vamos a comprar. Igualmente usted. Quieren mirar la feria y contarla. Diez libras de pura heroína. De la más fina. Cien mil. Traficar es mi negocio y el negocio está bueno.
Yeah, we just made 40 grand in a couple of minutes. And we didn't have to pull our guns out. Yeah, man, quick money too. Hopefully if Logan likes the product, do this a couple of times a month. Yeah, I learned to make that much money without getting my hands bloody. I'm not sure about that, man. I'm sure you still need us to handle some problems here and there, but I'm sure this will take priority, you know? You still hungry? Yeah, I'm starving, bro. What do you want to eat? I don't care. Pull over at the first restaurant you see. I'm starving. Man, you better hurry up before I eat the heroin. You know, you never regret getting in this business? Hell no. It's the only thing I know how to do right. Yeah, but you know, you don't stress about prison, stuff like that. I can tell you one thing for sure. I ain't ever going back to prison, no matter what. That's not what I mean, man. I'm talking about consequences, you know? Like, all the things we've done to people, man. All the lives we've ended. I don't think about things like that. All the fools had to come to them anyways. They knew all the risks about being involved in this type of business. Yeah. And that makes it just as bad as they are. Yeah, I know that. It's too late to think about hell. I'm going there anyways. That's a piece of shit. That's garbage. That's a piece of shit. What about that one? Nah, man. We need like a 2001 or newer. I'd be surprised if that bucket runs. What about that 2001? That's a 99, you fat ass. Fuck it, let's do it. So how the hell are we going to get the stuff back to California? 
What do you mean? We'll drive it there. That sounds easier said than done. We have to pass the three state borders, not just one. I don't really think that's a big deal. They usually just wave at us at the checkpoint. Yeah, but 10 pounds of dope is too much of a gamble. I don't know. I plan on putting it on a suitcase, just in case they want to look in the trunk. Yeah, but if they got the dogs out, we're screwed. We're going to get busted. Well, what about wrapping each pound individually and putting it in the gas tank and pulling it out when we get there? Oh, man, we'll explode halfway to California. Well, what do you want to do? I thought you had this whole thing planned. I got it. We'll seal them up real good. Like you said, you know, deflate the spare tire, tape them inside, and just fill it back up with air at the air station. That sounds like it could work. Let's go, man. That motherfucker better at least give us two G's for this car. An SUV fully loaded? Shit. And it's a 99. That's what I'm gonna tell him. Two G's for this 99. That's very clever, Oscar. Shut the fuck up, fat ass. Turn on the radio. I'm not fat anymore, you asshole. Fuck. It's all gone, man. Yes. A hundred thousand dollars worth of black tar heroin, man, is gone. And you guys didn't see shit? Did the customers see anything? No, man, nobody saw anything. Exactly what happened, Jesus? We parked the car, we ate, walked out, and it's gone. I can't believe this shit. I should have told you about those car thieves down there. Listen to me. I'm talking to a dead man if I don't get that dope back. Look, I'm gonna make some phone calls and see what I can find out about some car thieves or chop shops around there. Let me ask you a question. Is there any glass on the floor? Nah, man, hold on a quick second, right? Was there any glass in the ground? Nah, no, I don't remember any glass. Nah, man, there wasn't any. That means they know what they're doing, so it'd be easier to find them. I see your point. How soon can you be here? I'm about a half hour away. Let me get off the phone so I can see what I can find out. Where do you want me to meet you at? Look, man, we'll be at the restaurant, all right? It's called Vallarta's. Mexican place on 10th Street. All right, I'm on my way. Yeah, later. Oh. Next time I have my money, motherfucker. Where's it at then? It's right out back. All right, bring it in. You know the routine.
fucking tourist. It's probably full of clothes or something. Open it up, let's see what's in it. Oh my god. Look at this shit. Lower your voice, let me see that shit. What do you think it is? Coke? Crank? What? Shut the fuck up, idiot. Look. Stay calm. Just take the bag out the front. Wait for me out front. I'm gonna get our money and we're gonna get the fuck out of here. Hey Robert, this is the revenue we brought in? That looks good, huh? Hell yeah. Be done in about a day or two. So, you guys cleaned out the car? Yeah, it's all cleaned out. Okay. We got what we wanted. That's good. Where's Ant? Oh, he's outside taking out the trash. Okay. Good job. I need you guys to do something for me. I need a Range Rover 99 and newer. Can you do that? We'll be on the lookout, all right. What'd you find out? Talk to my friend. He said the car things down here only take new cars. And from what I heard, there's only one car lot that sells hot cars. How the hell does your friend know that? He's a customer. He bought a truck off him. And who's him? I don't know, Robert. Robert something. He's the owner of Five Star Auto. That's the place. So you don't think the car's in Mexico by now? Probably not. It feels like a piece of shit he's selling in Mexico, but you said it was 99, right? So that means he's probably gonna change the plates and the VIN number so he can sell it here where he can get more money. But it's gonna take him a couple days though, because he has to find a jacked up car that matches exactly. So that means your car's probably still here, bro. Man, our shit's still better be there, or I feel like I have to kill somebody. Funny. Starting to get that feeling myself too. $100,000. It's a lot of money to lose, man. And I'll do anything in my power to get it back. Fuck, man. Now what the fuck are we gonna do? I don't know. All I know is that we're gonna have to get rid of this dough fast. Cause somebody's gonna come looking for it. See, man? I knew we shouldn't have stole that fucking car. Now what are we gonna do with it? I'm just a car thief. I don't know shit about heroin. Neither do you. We just gotta make a couple phone calls. Try to unload it on somebody that we know. But before that, we need to find out how much we have. Cause I don't even know what the fuck this is. A kilo? Two kilos? I don't even know what a fucking kilo is. We need to weigh this shit. Go get the scale, eh? The bathroom scale? That ain't gonna work. It needs a person's weight. Look, we'll weigh you first, then we'll weigh you holding the stuff. We'll subtract the difference, and that's what we have. You're right. That might just work.
Well, guys, I got a couple more cars to look at. Come with me. I've got this 1990 Honda Accord, bags, fully loaded, rear tinted windows. It did an oil change recently. Also, over here, I'm waiting for the plates on that one. But you like fast cars? You look it. I've got this Porsche here, 50,000 miles. One more coat of paint, have it done in a day or two. Also, I've got a 1995 Impala, black leather interior, very low mileage, still smells like new. Could have it for you in a couple days. Oh well, yeah, what about that one there? I like that one right there. Hold still, fool. I can't get the right weight. I can see it from right here, you idiot. It's a buck forty. Shut the fuck up, you fat faggot. Here, now hold the bag. Fucking asshole, I ain't fat no more. 150, 10 pounds. So what is that? 10 pounds is worth what? I don't fucking know. How much a pound of weed cost? About $500, right? It's probably twice that. So then 10 pounds is worth in $10,000, I guess. Shit, that sounds good to me. That's more than we make on four good cars. 10,000? That's hella fat. All right, now who do we know that deals with this type of shit? What about Robert? Should we involve him in this? Nah, I don't trust that fucker with this. He'll probably try to rip us off. Yeah, you're right. He'd probably be pissed that we took it in the first place. Well, what about my cousin? The one who owns the record store. That's a good idea. He sells that ecstasy shit. He's got to know somebody to unload this on. Here, call him right now. Yeah. State your business. Oh, what's up, Ant? What's the word? Cool. Everything's been great, man. Yeah, I can talk right now. What's cracking? You got what? How the fuck did you get that? I don't know, man. That's a lot of weight. Somebody's going to come looking for that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I can make a few calls, but I don't know about this shit. How much you talking about breaking me off? No, 25% is what I'm thinking. Uh-uh, I need 25. It's too much of a risk. Good. I'm glad you see things my way. Let me make a couple of phone calls. I'll get back to you tonight. All right, late. So how's the trunk space in this thing? Mind if I take a look? No, not at all. Let me get that for you. Here you go, guys. Beautiful big car. So big you can put another car in it, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's a big trunk. Mm -hmm. Even fit a dead body in there. <laughs> what? Who are you guys? Where's my heroin at? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh yeah? You know what we're talking about? Maybe this will help you remember. Bring him over here, man. Let's chop his hand off. Put your hand on the car. Put your hand on the car. Look, I don't know nothing about no heroin. I got this car from these guys this morning. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Don't fucking lie to us. I'll chop you up right now. You better not lie to us, man, because I won't hesitate to kill you. Look, I'm not lying. Every couple of days, they bring me a new car. I don't ask them no questions. I pay them a couple grand and they're gone, man. They leave me the cars. Who brings you the fucking cars? These two guys, Oscar and Ed. I want to know two things, man. What they look like and everything you know about them. One's a Mexican, short hair, mustache. The other one's a skinny white guy. That's all I know. I met him through a friend of a friend. Man, where are they at? Huh? Look, I want to know where they're at right now. I don't know where they live. They've only been working with me for a month. But I can tell you who would know. And who's that? Ant, a skinny one. His cousin owns a record store downtown. His name is Frankie. And what's it called? I don't remember what it's called. It's the only one in town. It's on Main Street, right next to the pool hall. You better be giving me the right information. Do they know both these guys? Of course he knows them. Like I said, he's related to one of them. 
I told you everything I know. Good. He's still alive. What the fuck is taking that fool so long? I want to get rid of this shit now. City calls back by tonight. Yeah, but I don't give a fuck. I want you to call him right now. Tripping, fool. It's only been an hour. So, who? Call his ass up right now. Alright then. Pause this shit, asshole. Yeah. Yeah, I said I'd call you by the end of the night if anybody was interested. Dude, I'm still looking around. A few people I talked to said they don't want to touch it. Because they don't know where it came from. They know somebody's name is attached to that dope and nobody wants to get involved, even for a good price. Calm your ass down. There's still a lot of people I gotta talk to. That's why I told you I'd call you by the end of the night. Dude, just kick back and wait for my call. Don't fucking call me anymore. You're tying up the phone line. All right, late. So where's the store at? I don't know where the store's at, but I know what street it's on. Man. We shouldn't have blasted that fool. How do we know he was telling us the truth? He was too scared to lie. Besides, man, we all know what we need to know. We know what they look like and we got their names. I'm sure this fool at the record store is gonna know them. Man, that motherfucker better know them. Like I said, it's 10 pounds. They're just looking for the best offer they can get. But you know what it's worth on the street? That doesn't sound reasonable to me. How about 50? All right, that sounds fair enough. I'll have to check. Make sure it's agreeable. All right, I'll let you know in a couple minutes. All right, man. I'll do that. All right, like, sweet. Good news, ladies. I just got an offer for 40. What the fuck are you bitching about, idiot? You originally thought you were getting 10 grand. And now that you're getting 30, you're gonna talk shit? Well, it's 40, but don't forget about my 10, you fat shit. I'm not fat anymore, you asshole. Whatever. Look, I got you the money. I set up the whole deal. 30 grand, fool. What the hell's gotten into you? You gonna turn down 30 G's? You two wouldn't know what to do without me, so shut the fuck up. Well, either you do the deal and be 30 G's richer, or be broke and snort up a bunch of heroin. Take it or leave it, it's your choice. Good. I'm glad you agree. Now sit tight for a few minutes longer. I gotta call this fool and see where you guys can meet. Dude, you're tripping. No, you're out of your mind. Motherfucker, I told you. I'd make some calls for you, set up the deal. That's all I'm in for. I don't give a fuck. I'm not gonna get involved in this shit more than I already am. Look, what the fuck is the big deal? Go meet this butch motherfucker, you give him the shit, he gives you the money, you kiss him, and that's it. Why don't you have that other fatso rub your back for about 15 minutes, and I'll call you right back, alright? Alright, then. Alright, wait. Fucking shithead. So what did that cocksucker say? He said he's got a buyer, he's gonna give us 30 grand. Aw, oh, that's all fat, fool. 
I was praying we'd get 10. Yeah, I guess heroin's just a little more costly than weed. So what's up? What are we waiting for? Well, we gotta kick back for about 15 minutes, wait for this fool to call us back. And then he's gonna tell us where to meet him. So, let's just kick back. Ah, uh, buenos días, ¿en qué les podemos ayudar? Pues, uh, estamos buscando a Frankie. Frankie? Yo soy Francisco. This must be him. He's that one that fool's Mexican, remember? Yeah, that's right. ¿Tienes un primo que se llama Oscar? No, pero tengo un primo que se llama Osvaldo. Bueno, ¿qué chingados quieres? No te estamos hablando a ti. ¡Tú cállate la boca! ¿Qué la chingada? ¿Qué es este pinche bigotón? Largo de mi tienda, cabrones. Hijo de tu puta madre. ¡Ay, cabrones! ¡Ay, déjenme cabrones! ¡Ay, déjenme cabrones! ¡Ay, déjenme ¡Ay, déjenme Yeah, they're all for it. They want to know where to meet you at. I already told you this shit is good. I saw it with my own two eyes. Don't be down Frankie's word. Have I ever steered you wrong? Who the fuck do you come to when you, when you need those little vitamins for your little faggot ravers at your club? Don't forget about the pound of weed I got you for half of what it was worth. Even though I got my fucking window shot out. Then why are you questioning? I told you they need to get rid of it because it's hot. That's why you're getting it for a good price, man. Look, if it makes you feel any better, they're just as nervous as you are. Why don't you just give me a little time, tell me where to meet you at, and let's get this shit over with. Okay. Yeah, I know where it's at. That's perfect. Yeah, I got it. All right, I'll make the call. They're on the way. Late. Ma, disculpa me, compa. Por todo esto desmadre que hice. Ah, no vale madre este pinche güero, culero, ladrón. Pero un día de estos le voy a cortar los huevos. Pues estás seguro que ese cabrón está envuelto en negocios así? Sí, pues ese gabacho trató de venderme mota el otro día y le mandé a la chingada. Un par de días después de eso lo visitaron unos negros, le quebraron las ventanas y supuestamente el cabrón les había robado la mota de los negros y por eso le dejaron el desmadre. O sin vida. What's up? What's the news? Yeah, I know where that's at. Yeah, yeah. Me and Oscar will come by right after and give you your cut. Hey, Frankie, you trust this motherfucker on the real? Alright then, cousin. I'll talk to you later. It's all good? It's cool. He sells weed and ecstasy to this motherfucker all the time. He said we don't got nothing to worry about. I don't give a fuck. I don't trust anybody. We better at least take some shanks or something. Yeah. Alright, let's go. What is this? What are we gonna do? Butter them to death? Well, what the fuck, man? That's the only kind of knives we got. Man, get the fucking scissors or something. About this. Yeah, let's roll. Let's go. Hey, can I help you guys with something? Yeah, where you keep your mask and CD? Uh, the uh, Spanish music's uh, right back there. Is that right? You got the new tucanes? Hey, how about los originales? Uh, I don't think we got that one. What's that about? It's about some drug traffickers. They sing a lot about crank, weed, and heroin. Heroin, huh? 
Don't even think about it, Frankie. How do you know my name? Doesn't matter how we know your name. It's reason to know a lot of shit about you, punk. We know about your cousin. And we know your cousin took a package from us. Actually, he took a car that has a very important package inside of it. And Frankie, inside that package is 10 pounds of pure uncut heroin. And if we don't get that package in our possession by tonight, you're gonna kill me? You know what, Frankie? You're not as stupid as you look. Let me tell you something. We're not weed dealers that get mad and come in here and break your windows up. We're gonna blow your head off. So what do you want me to do? Spill your guts, punk. All right, where's our shit? Well, my cousin. Well, he's not really my cousin, just by marriage. Well, anyway, him and his boy came at me with 10 pounds of heroin. He wouldn't tell me where they got it, I swear to God. They just wanted me to help him get rid of it. I just made a couple phone calls for him, and that was it, I was just doing him a favor. So they still have it then? Well, not exactly. Motherfucker. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. I know where you can get it. I know how you can get it back. You better be telling us the truth. And you better sound convincing. I'm telling you the truth, I swear to God. I set up a buy with this guy that I sell weed to. Go on. They're meeting him right now. Where? Sunset Park. He's bringing them 40 grand in cash for the exchange for the dope. That's it, that is the truth. I swear on my mother's life. Is he coming alone? Yes, yes, that's what he told me. He's never dealt with heroin before. He's only sold weed and ecstasy. He sounded all nervous on the phone, but he took my word about my cousin. That's the whole story. What's his name? His name's Sleeper. He owns this club on the other side of town. If you're lying to me. I'm not lying, I swear on my children's eyes. I tell you the truth. We'll be back to see you soon. Take our word for it. Hop over, see what he's reaching for. Hey, what's up, man? What's up, man? What's up? You got that old school too short? Um, which one? The Born of Mac. All right, cool. Here you go. Um, 14? Thanks. All right. What do you want to do about this food? Just leave him, man. You might need him later. Okay. Hey, wait a second, man. Hey, grab that iced tea right there. Yeah. Fuck, man. I don't know about this shit. This fool's taking hella long. Don't even trip, man. My cousin hooked this up. It's cool. Nah, I don't know, man. Just something don't feel right. Something don't just don't feel right, man. That's him right there. What's up, man? You sleeper? What's up, yeah. What's up? Where? Nah, this is that right here. What's up, bro? So you guys ready to do this? Yeah, man. Let's handle some business. Well? Well, you got the fucking money or what? Hey man, there's no reason to talk to me like that. I already don't feel good about this whole situation. Man, you don't feel good about this? Shit, we don't feel good about this. You look like the fucking popo. I ain't the fucking police, idiot. I ain't got time for this shit. You guys want to do this or what? Look, man, why don't you just open the bag and flash the money? All right, Ant. Grab the bag and let's handle this. What the fuck is that you're doing with your hand? Give me the money. 
Fuck that. You give me the dough first. Man, fuck you, fool. What kind of shit are you guys trying to pull? Your cousin told me you guys were cool. Just give us the money. Fuck. Can't believe this shit. All right, man, same time. All right, it's good doing business. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Nah, wait, I want to count this shit first. I don't trust that food. Why don't we just count it in the bathroom? All right, yeah, that'll work. Let's go. It's gotta be them, eh? Tall white boy, short Mexican. Let's hurry up and follow him, eh? Maybe we get the stuff before they meet the guy. Let's go. Hey, maybe I should count the money. Yeah, just let me count it. 20, 60, 80, 90, 90 Man, shut the fuck up. You just fucked me up. Now I gotta start all over again. Fuck. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1. 20, 40, 60, 80, 2. 20, 40, 60, 80, 3. 20, Where's my dope at? Man, I don't know what you're talking about. I've been through hell trying to get my dope back. I've heard and killed people just to get to you two. I won't like killing another Mexican, man. But don't think I hesitate to put one in your belly. I want my dope right now. Man, I can't give you what I don't have. We already sold it. My homeboy's in the bathroom right now counting the money. He's right, it's I heard him counting it out loud in the star. Believe this mess. How much money has he got in there? Man, it's supposed to be forty thousand dollars. So what do you want to do about these fools? Hold on. Forty, sixty, eighty, thirteen, twenty, forty, sixty. Oscar, is that you? Oscar. Man, you didn't have to do that shit. You could have just taken the money. My friend's life is worth more than that. It ain't worth more than my heroin. Stupid idiots, man. 40,000. For dope that wholesale's at 100. Let's go. Got to see Frank again. Yeah. Oh shit, not again. Shut up, punk. Quit whining and listen. Your cousin's dead and his friend is dead. And if you don't listen to what we say, then you're gonna join them too. Understand? You killed them? If I were you, I'd worry about myself right now. Where's this fool's club at? And who's he connected with? Man, he ain't connected with nobody. He just runs a club on the other side of town. He sells weed and X to his clients. Yeah? So why the hell does he want some heroin? Man, I don't know. Maybe he's got new clientele and needs heroin. Man, I don't know about this, Jesus. That just don't sound right to me. I think he's right. <laughs>
Even at that price, 10 pounds is a lot of heroin to move. He's got to know somebody. I told you, Jesus, everybody down here is connected some way. Man, are you lying to me? Man, as far as I know, he doesn't know anybody. I know what your friends are saying is making sense, but as far as I know, Sleeper doesn't know anybody. He doesn't work with anybody. He works by himself. I told you, he buys his shit from me. He doesn't know anybody else. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna call this guy and set up a meeting between us and him. I tell him we're gonna give him double his money back. And all we want is our dope back. You're gonna pay him double? No, you're gonna tell him that we're gonna pay him double. Now hurry up and call him. Sleeper. Hey, it's Frankie. Yeah, that's cool. I'm glad it all worked out for you. Yeah, well, they're young. Anyways, I'm calling you because I have a new proposition for you. I've got these friends over here that are real serious about getting their hands on that product you got. Now, look, I'm not calling to worry you or to set you up in any way, but these are the folks that the stuff originally belonged to. Hold on, hold on. You ain't even heard me out. They're willing to give you double what you paid already. That dope is connected to a big name. I suggest you take this proposition. Look, they're businessmen just like you. They don't want any trouble. They just want their stuff back. You're basically just gonna give them their stuff back to the original owners. Gonna make a quick 40 grand for being professional about it. Just name the time and place. Here? You wanna meet here at my store? All right, I guess I don't have a problem with that. All right, we'll be waiting. Man, you ain't gonna make a mess out of my place, are you? I can't guarantee that, man. But as long as we get our stuff back, I'm sure everything will be okay. What's the plan? Hey, Tony. Wait outside. When you see him pull up, let us know. What kind of car does he drive? A, uh, a Yukon. A silver Yukon. You can't pull up, huh? Good, man, good. Let's go back to the store. Just keep watching, man. In case these fools want to try something stupid. All right, cool. Must be sleeper. Yeah, who are you? Doesn't matter who I am. What matters is I get that dope back to its rightful owner. Frankie, what's going on here? What is this shit? Relax, they just want to get their shit back. Look, we've all had a very long day, man. We don't want any problems. All that matters is I get that dope back. I got my word on it. You feel me? Yeah, I feel you, but I didn't have to do this shit. This is your fuck up. I could have easily just kept it. Oh yeah? And we would have killed you, motherfucker. Man, there ain't no need to talk to me like that. I'm doing you guys a favor. Look, man, is that it there? Yeah. Here's the money, man. Let's get this over with. Man, what the fuck is this? Got your money right there, fool. This is bullshit. This ain't the amount we agreed upon. We agreed upon 80,000. I didn't agree on anything. What do you mean you didn't agree upon anything? Frankie said you were gonna give me 80,000 if I brought the stuff back. Yeah, that's right. Frankie said that to you. I didn't tell him to say that. You fucking liar! Shut the fuck up, you fucking faggot! 
Look, man, I don't want to argue with you. You got your money back, we got a dough back. I suggest you do the smart thing right now. Don't be stupid, man. This is the only chance you got to walk away. Man, fuck that shit. I don't think this is going to happen. Now throw me the stuff. Put the gun down, motherfucker. You're coming by all angles, motherfucker. Ah, you piece of shit. Who's laughing now, motherfucker? Should have been watching all the angles. Frankie, why'd you have to go and do something like that? We were almost out of here, man. Didn't I tell you I wasn't going to kill you if you didn't give us any problems? Shut the fuck up, mustache. Tell your homies to put their guns down. Afraid I can't do that, Frankie. You see Sleeper here? He's pointing his gun to me. And I kind of feel like I got the upper hand. Because my two homies are pointing their guns at him. Upper hand? What upper hand? I'll put a fucking cap in your head! Well then do it, Frankie! I will, I fucking swear! Boom! That's not how it works, Frankie. This is how it works. All right, guys. I was being a little hasty, okay? 40 grand is good enough for the for getting your stuff back. All right? It's too late for that. You already had your chance. No, don't! Fuck you! Never learn, do they? Thanks, Tony, man. Here's the money. That's cool, man. More than what I expected. No trip, man. Hopefully, you know, this will happen every few weeks and under better circumstances. Shit, you can say that again? All right, bro. I guess uh, I'll give you a call, get back to Cali, huh? All right, cool. All right. Later, bro. All right, take care. Take care. My God, man, can you believe this day? Yeah, I know what you mean. I'm starting to appreciate killing more. <laughs> so, what do you want to do? Well, first, man, I want to pull over, you know? Call up Logan, check in. Let him know we're going our way, man. And then just head back home. Hey, that sounds cool. There's a little store coming out. Why don't you pull in there? All right. Well, I'll call Logan, man. Get some sandwiches or something, man. I'm starving. That's cool. What do you want, uh, Dr. Pepper or ham and cheese? Uh, give me like a orange crush or something, orange. All right. Logan. Nah, man, everything's fine. Just took a little longer than expected. Yeah. Hell yeah. It looks good, man. It looks real good. Yeah, I'm sure you'd be very happy when we get there. Yeah, well, we're headed back right now, so probably about a day and a half. Yeah, man. All right, Logan. I'll check in with you tomorrow. All right. Later. Hold on. 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 Hold on.
long to check in, but told me it's all good, man. We're heading back right now. That's cool. Yeah. Thanks. So what's time for now? You want sandwich? Oh, fuck no! This is bullshit! <laughs>